Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time, I tried fighting Lavos and failed miserably. That was just one ending. The bad ending <laughs> gave me nightmares because this game came out in 1995, so you didn't know that the day of Lavos wasn't really going to happen. You know, kind of like Y2K. Now, let's try something else this time around. And to the left, we have a gate that will take us to the prehistoric age. But there's, the game doesn't really direct us to go there yet, and there's not much I can do there anyway. I mean, there's a piece of armor that I could pick up, but I mean, the game's easy enough without it as is, so I'm not even going to bother with it. And this gate is the one that the old man there wants us to take to go back home, Medina Village. But before I go there, there's one thing I want to do with the protodome first. So let's head back there. Now, a couple people mentioned that I could have also I could have fought Lavos earlier in the game. Well, you see, that option is really only available in New Game Plus mode. I have to beat the game in order to gain access to that option, which I will be doing and going through all the distinct endings of the game. Now, where is it? It's around here somewhere. I'm waiting. It's around here somewhere. Huh. There it is. Gotcha. Ha ha! You see, there's a power tab there. You gotta wait a while for it to show up. Man, I never knew about that like the first 20 times I played through the game. I'll be giving that power tab to Chrono. Now, if you recall, there was a gate back at the Bangor Dome. I want to head back there so I will have access to that gate from the end of time, because we don't have access to it yet. So I'll go ahead, work my way back to the Bangor Dome, and meet you back there. Okay, I've made it back to the Bangor Dome, so let's open up this gate now, back at the end of time. This will be useful much later in the game, viewers. It'll save you quite a bit of time of having to walk back. So, okay, now this gate is opened up, which will take us back to Guardia Forest, but we can't go home to feed our cats, because those guards will keep on coming back and trapping us there. So, instead, we're going to take this gate. We'll find another way to get back home here. The gate's in the guy's house? Okay. It's in his freaking cupboard? Oh, man. Wow. Y yeah I, I guess. <laughs> what an odd place to have a portal or something. Wait a sec. Oh, I'm sorry. You barged out of my closet, but that's okay. And these guys are apparently mystics who don't like humans for some reason. There's a man who lives near the cave to the west. Okay, well, we'll have to talk to him. Yeah, they, uh, you're not supposed to like us. Oh, that was 400 years ago. Oh, okay. And if you eat this piece of cake here, you'll get your HP and MP restored. So, let's take a look around. Here's the Elder's house. Let's take a look around. Ozzy the Eighth. Hmm. That must be that big guy there. And we get a speed tab. I'll use that momentarily. And he's the leader of the village. And... Hmm. Apparently his ancestor was a servant of the great Magus. But he died. So that's too bad. Hmm. Yeah, so this is why you gotta talk to Specchio, because all the enemies in the upcoming area are only going to be susceptible to magic. They're pretty much going to be immune to um, physical attacks. So, yeah, give the power tabs to him. Oh, I forgot to use that other magic tab on Robo. Well, that's helpful there. And you also want to give the speed tab to Robo. Even though Luca has pretty bad speed, too, um, she'll have other ways of compensating for that relatively shortly. So, let's take a look at this place. And, hmm, there's nothing we can do there. Some kind of a pyramid force field. We'll have to, uh, we'll worry about that later. Let's check out this place, the inn. Uh-oh. Oh, well, these monsters aren't going to attack us. Well, that's nice. Well, I gotta rest up here, so... 
I'll fight you for it. All right. First, let's kill the innkeeper. Oh, that didn't kill him. Well, it should have. No, actually it did. He just doesn't disappear because we're going to have to be able to talk to him after the battle. I mean, they wouldn't just let us kill the innkeeper. Yay. Now let us use your beds. Even the robot. 200 gold? You're kidding me. Well, screw you. Oh, and it's this guy again. Oh, I didn't know he was a mystic. Oh, no, I, w I want to fight you. Why did they say plead anyway? I mean, doesn't plead mean to, like, beg or something? Maybe I don't know my English very well. Die. There we go. Apparently these mystics are susceptible to uh, physical attacks. Unlike the ones in the next area we'll be going to. Got him. Okay, give me equipment. Much better equipment. Great equipment. Whoa! Hey, look at that price. Oh, man. It's way too expensive for now. Ah, oh, crap. Go away. I don't want to give you my money. Okay. Anyway, we got, uh, yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to afford this equipment right now. So, um, oh, well, screw you, too. Let's see what's going on here. Whoa, that's some funky chanting. What are these guys, like Russian throat singers? Those guys are scary, man. Cool, but scary. Have you ever heard Russian throat singers? Oh, man. Sir Magus, or Magus, whatever. Yeah, he led you guys in Lavos. What does Magus have to do with Lavos? He created Lavos. Oh, no. We gotta stop him. He must have managed to create Lavos before he was killed in the past. Okay, well, there's nothing else we can do here, so let's head west. Hey, it's Melchior's hut. He's that guy who was back at the, uh, the Millennial Fair there. Okay, yeah, let's get some stuff. So, you want to get a red katana? That also increases your magic stat a little bit. And I want to get a Titan vest there. So, let's equip that. Equip that. I don't want to get one for Luca because she'll be getting another one in the very near future. So. And apparently this guy's a weaponsmith. Anything down here? No. Nothing useful. Oh, I thought he was supposed to say something to... Well, we gotta go through this cave in order to get back home. So, let's go! Death to the Mystic's enemies! Yeah, now the reason I'm using Marley here is because Luca specifically will be useful in the area after this. Because there's enemies who are going to be weak to fire. But in this area, it doesn't really matter so much. So I might as well use Marley. They're just weak to magic in general. Holy crap, it's more octopi. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, we want to kill that guy first, I think. Alright, there we go. Let's put this magic to good use. I don't think laser spin will be enough against these guys. I might be able to kill one of them now, but we'll see. Laser Spin is essentially a magic-based attack, or tech, if I didn't say that earlier. So, that's how Robo functions here. I never used to bring Robo to this place, because I always thought that, you know, it was only magic, and magic techs are things that have a star next to it. Oh, it did work. All right. Wow, Laser Spin is, it's amazing. It's a lot better than I thought, like, the first ten times I played the game. There we go. Yeah, these guys are weak to magic too, so... I'm not even gonna bother with laser spin. I would only use laser spin if you run into like three or more enemies, in which case you're gonna have to have give Robo a turn anyway. 
And I'm not really worried about his lack of speed that much. I mean, just make sure you give him the speed belt, speed tabs, and I think he's fine. Okay, let's head down here next. Yeah, there's going to be some enemies here. I better stop here. So that's all for this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Next time, we'll get through the Hecron Cave and try to make it home and feed the cats. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.